Hello everyone, my name is Vijay Kumar and we are studying refrigeration and air conditioning. In the last video, we have seen the variation of properties on the performance of simple vapor compression refrigeration system. Now, in this video, we will see about the actual vapor compression refrigeration system. In short, if I say it is a VCRS. So, in this video, we will see the actual VCRS. What is why we are doing why we are studying actual because this is the simple vapor compression cycle and this is the system you know this this one is evaporator and this one is compressor and this is condenser and this one expansion valve. You know very well all these equipments. I have explained all the equipments in detail. Okay, now we will see here that in evaporator, what type of losses are there? Because I have already told in the where I told the irreversibility in compressor and irreversibility in the turbine. In the same way, there are some irreversibilities in the equipments and system. Because of that irreversibility, the actual vapor compression cycle will be different. Okay, so first, what are the irreversibilities or what are the changes in comparison to the simple vapor compression cycle? We will see here. So, first, we will take pressure drop in evaporator. Pressure drop in evaporator. You know this is evaporator. Suppose we start from here. Suppose this is point number four. From this point, there is a pressure drop. I have already told that in evaporator, evaporator piping is there. The present is flowing like in this type of piping. And because of these bands and friction in the piping. Pressure will drop. Pressure will drop. So here we are talking about this one only. Pressure drop in evaporator due to bend and friction. Okay. Now second, super heat of vapor in evaporator. In evaporator, what what we are doing? That evaporator is taking heat from the storage space. It is taking heat from the storage space. And at this point, there is a liquid and vapor mixture. I have already told you TS and TS diagram. At this point, liquid and vapor is there. Evaporator will take heat and the liquid will convert into vapor. So at this point, vapor is there. But evaporator will take extra heat. Extra heat. So because of that extra heat, the refrigerant which is going out at this point that will be superheated. Okay, extra superheated. So at this point and in evaporator also, suppose if I do like this, at this point it will take superheat. Okay, in evaporator only the refrigerant will superheat. This is the second number. Okay, now third point. Useless superheating suction line. Now this is my suction line. This is a suction line. This one is suction line. If I write in suction line, if you have seen the window AC or split AC, the indoor unit of split AC or win window AC inside the room, the evaporator in this piping is already attached. So this will, this suction line will also take heat from the room. So extra super heat will occur in suction line. Okay, now third point. Pressure drop across suction wall. Now the present is going from this point to compressor. This is the inlet valve. If I say this is inlet valve. This is inlet valve. And if I say this is outlet valve. So this 
सो दिस इज इनलेट वॉल एंड दिस इज आउटलेट वॉल सो प्रेशर ड्रॉप विल अगर इन इनलेट वॉल द रेप्रेजेंट विल गो फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट सम रेजिस्टेंस डूरिंग द ओपनिंग ऑफ वॉल विल अगर बिकॉज ऑफ दैट प्रेशर विल ड्रॉप सो दिस इज दॉइंट नंबर फाइव प्रेशर ड्रॉप अक्रॉस दी सक्शन वॉल ओके देर इज ए प्रेशर ड्रॉप इन सक्शन लाइन ऑल्सो बिकॉज this line also has some friction some friction will be there because of that friction in this line pressure will also drop so this was the point number 4 so i have covered up to point number 5 now no isentropic compression i have already told that if it is a ideal cycle then compression will up takes place isentropically But because of internal irreversibility in the compressor, this I have taken reciprocating compressor. Because of internal irreversibility, process will not follow isentropically, or it will not follow adiabatically also. In actual vapor compression vaporization system, compression will not follow isentropic process or reverse or adiabatic process. okay it is something else we will draw here after the learning all these points after understanding all these points i draw ps and ph curve for actual vapor compression vaporization system so now pressure across discharge wall pressure across discharge wall the same way when compression will takes place in compressor Opening of discharge wall, outlet wall or discharge wall will take place. This is suction wall or inlet wall, and this is outlet wall or discharge wall. So opening of discharge wall will will take place. This opening will resist the flow of represent. Okay, because of that resistance, pressure will drop. Okay, so pressure across discharge wall. Now pressure drop in delivery line. in the same way in suction line there is a pressure drop in delivery line this is the delivery line this is suction line and this is delivery line because of friction in delivery line pressure will drop now d super heating of vapor in delivery line what happen in condenser in condenser represent will come in condenser in condenser the represent will give heat to the surrounding so heat transfer will take place at constant pressure if it is a ideal process but in delivery line also there is a heat transfer this is the outdoor unit of split ac because this part is an outdoor unit of split ac Where there is, if you have, if you have seen the outdoor unit of split AC or window AC, back side of the window AC, if you have seen that some air is coming, so condenser fan is blowing, blowing some air, air, okay, because that air will take heat from the represent, from the condenser, which is flowing in the condenser, okay, so. in delivery line also heat transfer will takes place because of that heat transfer the represent will give super heat in delivery line itself okay now pressure drop in condenser in condenser you know at the uh, piping arrangement in condenser is something like this only so because of because of bends and friction pressure will drop so in plain uh, condenser also the arrangement this is the piping suppose an arrangement of piping is like this only and because of bends and friction there is a pressure drop in condenser so we have covered this point also now sub cooling of liquid represent in condenser extra heat is also given to the surrounding so in condenser itself sub cooling will occur 
Now, heat gain in liquid light. This is the liquid light before the expansion wall. In this line, the represent will take heat. In this line, represent will take heat. So all because of all these irreversibilities which, which I have told here, the actual vapor compression vaporization system is something different in comparison to the ideal one. Now I draw TS and PS diagram for actual vapor compression vaporization system. Let's see the TS and PS diagram for actual vapor compression vaporization system. So for 1 dash, 2 dash and 3 dash. This is the ideal cycle that I have explained. Now, what is the actual cycle? You see here, actual cycle is pressure drop in evaporator. I have written 4 1D. So, 4 to 1D pressure drop is there. Now, 1D to 1C. There is a superheating of vapor in evaporator. During the superheat, temperature is increasing 1D to 1C. Entropy is also increasing. Now, 1C to 1B, useless superheating suction line. I have already explained 1C to 1B, there is a superheating suction line. 1B to 1C, 1B to, sorry, 1B to 1A, 1B to 1A, pressure drop a suction line. So, here pressure is drop, 1B to 1A, 1A to 1, 1A to 1 is a Pressure drop across the suction wall. 1A to 1, pressure drop across the suction wall in compressor. Now, 1 to 2, see here, this is the non isentropic process or non adiabatic process. This is the actual process in actual vapor compression deficit system. Now, 2 to 2A, two, 2 to 2A, two pressure drop across the discharge wall. Now, represent is being discharged from the compressor 2 to 2A. Pressure is dropping. 2A to 2B. 2A to 2B is a pressure dropping delivery line because of friction in the pipelines. 2B to 2C. There is a D superheating. D superheating of vapor in delivery line. Okay. Now, 2C to 3. 2C to 3, which is happening in a condenser, which is happening in a condenser. So, pressure drop in condenser 2C to 3. This, in this case, actual process was this, which I have drawn in black dot line. Sorry, ideal process. Actual process 2C to 3, pressure has, has been dropped. Now, actual process at point 3, 3 to A, there is a subcooling. There is a subcooling of liquid represent. 3 to 3A. Then 3A to 3B. Again, heat will take. Again, represent will take heat. Heat gain will be there. 3A to 3B, there is a heat gain. Now, 3, 3B to 4. This is isenthalpic process. You know very well. 3B to 4 is an isenthalpic process. So, this is the actual vapor compression representation system. Similarly, it has been drawn on PS diagram. You can see easily. Okay, all the process I have drawn on PS, PS diagram also. Now, friends, in the in the in this video, we have seen the actual vapor compression vaporization system. In the next video, we will see the represent represents. We will study about the type of represents. There is an alternative for the represent which are used in AC system like window AC and split AC. So, have a good day and thanks for watching and have a good day.